right, welcome to today's Kidsman. So today we're going to be learning about the gift of interpretation. How to interpret tongues. Because when people are praying in tongues, um, and remember we learned there's tongues where you speak in a different language, a different like in Spanish or French, or a different language that you didn't know. But tongues, there's also another type of tongues that we did where you're speaking to God and the Holy Spirit is leading you as you pray and is helping you pray in that time. Now we're going to learn what does it look like when the Holy Spirit gives us a gift where we can translate what someone is saying to God. Because sometimes when people are praying in tongues, uh, the Holy Spirit grips them and they start praying out really loud. And people are wondering, hmm, I wonder what he's actually saying to God. Hmm, is it good? Is it bad? And remember, everything that comes from the Father is filled with love, filled with kindness, empowers us, encourages us to lead us towards being more and more like Him because we are His kids. So when people translate what God is saying, it's always good. It's always filled with life and it will always lead us closer to Papa God. So that's why the gift of translation is so important and is so cool because you can get to hear what heaven is saying and what the Holy Spirit is saying. And because the Holy Spirit helps us speak in tongues, He hears what He's saying. So when we fill with the Holy Spirit, He can teach us how to hear what He's saying even through other people. So this video is going to demonstrate to us what it looks like. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything that you have blessed us with. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for blessing us with health and your comfort in every day. Lord, help me through this period, Almighty God. Oh, Hi, I just wanted to tell you, um, the Father gave me the gift of interpretation. And I, what I felt you were saying at this time was, I heard you were in struggle. I heard the Father said that something about a friend in trouble, in need, he says, it, it'll be okay. You do not have to worry. The Lord has provided for him, for her, he says. Thank it'll be okay. Thank you so much. I really need that. You don't know how much your words mean to me. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. I, I feel that the Lord is with me now. Oh, so stressed. Thank okay. you. Hello again. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, so we had two amazing actors. One was Arman and one was lovely Londega. These were amazing actors. So I'd love you to give them a huge round of applause and thank them for doing the act for us for this week. So as you saw, um, Londega was praying and she was praying for a friend. Nobody knew what she was praying for. And when she got to go to church and she started praying and then she started praying even in tongues where Arman got the interpretation and he could pick up what the Holy Spirit was saying because the Holy Spirit gave, gave him a gift of interpretation. And this blessed Londega beautifully and she was filled with joy and encouragement again for what was going on in her life. And this is why the gift of translation is so important and so powerful because it can help people who do pray in tongues get to understand what God is saying, but also other people get encouraged because they also want to speak in tongues because they see it, God saying beautiful things through them and to them and also to others. So when we get to translate, it blesses not only us, because tongues usually blesses us mostly, but it also blesses others when we get to know how to translate what God is saying. 
So I hope you inspired and you'd love the Holy Spirit to fill you up with the gift of interpretation. And just like any other gift, we get to practice it. We get to ask the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, would you, would you teach me how to interpret talent? And we trust Him that He will. And then when other people are praying in tongues, we just say, Holy Spirit, what are you saying? What are you saying right now? And as we practice that, and we might hear something sometimes, sometimes you don't. And the more you practice it, the more you'll get to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. And you can go out to people and say, oh, I feel like the Holy Spirit was saying this. And if you're incorrect, you're like, oh, well, I'm learning. And the person won't feel so bad. But it's always going to encourage people whatever you will hear from the Holy Spirit. And will always uplift them and give them life and joy. So don't forget to practice it. Love it, go for it, and trust God to bless you with this amazing gift. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. Don't forget to click the link below, parents, and check out some more of our Kidsmen resources. We have some lovely worship, so you can get your worship on and party with your kids, party in the presence of Jesus, and have some awesome fun. So, don't forget to click the link, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye!